Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. Got a question in here from Juan. Hope I'm saying that right. This is on the email. He says, hi Matt. You always like to recommend the Nikon D610 with the 50mm F1.8G. One question. How did you care for the high contrast of the D610 during your wedding shoots in the past? Is it worth upgrading to the D750 uh, beside the autofocus and the flip screen? Well, thank you for your question, Juan. Um... I My favorite, I should point out, the 50 is great on the 610. It's a beautiful lens. But my favorite is the 85. The 50 is, I guess, kind of an all-around lens because of the focal point. But what I would do with the 610 or the 750 is get the 24 to 120 f4 VR and pair it with an 85 f1.8G, which I would use as my portrait lens. Uh, and that setup, I could shoot all day long on a pair of 610s, events, uh, weddings, portraits. Awesome setup. Love it. Um, as far as high contrast, didn't really notice that it had high contrast, but here's a thought. You can dial that down in the camera settings. So many people say, well, this camera shoots this way and I don't like this look. The cameras nowadays have so much ability to go into the presets and change that. You can dial the contrast down. You can dial the sharpness down. You can dial it up. You can dial it down. You can, you can change so many things. And so if you don't like the default contrast setting of the D610, just change it. Dial it into where you like it and leave it there. It's that easy. Or shoot raw and have that as a preset when you import into Lightroom or whatever other software you're using to develop your raws. So to me, no problem. I actually didn't notice that. I didn't think it was high. I like high contrast anyways. So it's probably why I didn't even notice you're saying you think it's high. Never occurred to me that the 610 was particularly high. Um, Is the 750 worth upgrading to? Absolutely, if you have the money. We just saw that... The 750 along with the 850 were the two cameras that gave Nikon the number one sales position for full-frame cameras over the 2017 holiday season. There's a reason for this. The 750 is an amazing camera. It reminds me very much of the old beloved F100s. It just does everything right in a smaller size. It's rugged. It's durable. It has one of the best autofocus systems from Nikon. And that autofocus system for a lot of people, that alone is worth the upgrade. Because at this point, since it's been out for a bit, it's not that much more money. Um, The flip screen, I really like having a flip screen. I wish it was a flip out very angle LCD screen, but the flip screen, I do like it. So yeah, to me, it's worth the upgrade. If you're on a tight budget, I have no problem with the D610 though. I love it. I've said that many times over and I would have no problems shooting just about anything, especially events, weddings, portraits with a pair of 610s, the 24-120 to 120 F4 VR and the 85 F1.8G. So that's what I would do. And, you know, if your budget allows, 750 all the way. If your budget doesn't allow, nothing wrong with those 610s. What do you guys think? Do you agree with me? Do you think the 610 and the 85, would you go with the 50? Do you think the upgrade's worth it to the 750 or do you think it's not? Let me know in the comments below. Let's help out Juan. Always great to get your feedback. A lot of times somebody makes a point that I had not mentioned or hadn't thought of. And it's also just great to hear a lot of feedback so our viewers, when they're thinking about this stuff, can hear a lot of opinions before they make their decision. Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.